This is Jade Nunes for New Day Review here at the CFV Arena, where the Knights just defeated the Nickel State Colonels 80-56 in an impressive offensive performance. Guard Matt Williams, who was called one of the best shooters in the country by head coach Johnny Dawkins, played a total of 37 minutes. Just to be here, you know, just to be able to see my family, you know, just to be able to be around Coach Dawkins, um, just to be around my teammates, man. I, I feel like I made the best decision of my life for staying here. So, um, it's been pretty good, man. I'm trying to get emotional. I think I love my guys. Man. It's been good. Center Tucko Fall, who said he feels more comfortable coming into the season, showed why, recording 16 points, 16 rebounds, and four blocks. Last year, I think I made a big jump, um, being like uh, holding a good position, playing angles, being patient on the post. You know, so I have you have when you have guys like Matt that can shoot, people really can help off that. So most of the time, I will be one on one if they help. Matt is right there. You have BJ, Crafty. He can get <clears throat> to the paint whenever he wants. So playing with people like that makes it even better. Tanky Fee and I showed a complete performance, proving to be a very versatile player. He totaled 16 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 steals. Coach Dawkins told the press he believes his performance tonight was a great step forward for him, confidence-wise, because now he will be able to see what he is capable of. Uh, well, I'm happy for Tank. You know, Tank's been someone in practice we've been kind of pushing. You know, saying, you know, we, we think we can, we, we see more in you, you can give us more. And so I thought tonight was, was a good step forward for him. And it's for just, for nothing else, just confidence-wise, because now he sees that he can do more. So I was really happy that for him, because now we have a reference point. He knows the type of numbers he's capable of having in a game. Nick Banyard stepped up for the team while A.J. Davis was absent tonight. The redshirt senior forward scored 10 points, had 12 rebounds, and played a total of 36 minutes. Losing A.J. has been, you know, it's been a tough loss for us because he's our most versatile player. He's a guy that can, he can play anywhere from the one to the four for us. He can bring, help bring it up. He's a really good facilitator. He's a great passer. And he's a capable scorer. So actually a leading returning scorer on the team. So, he's, so we lose a lot when, with, with him away. But this gives us a chance before he returns to grow as a team. And I looked at it like this when I met with our guys. I said this is an opportunity for us to get better. You know, someone needs to step up, which is going to help us. And then we add him, we have another piece. And so I was really happy that guys did step up. Overall, the Knights dominated the boards, a rebounding the Colonels 59 to 36, including 17 offensive rebounds. I thought the way we rebounded this game, we had 59 rebounds and held them to 36. That was phenomenal for us. So I, those things are very encouraging. The Knights travel to Charleston this week to face Mississippi State on Thursday and to face Boise State on Friday at the Gildan Charleston Classic. For New Day Review, this is Jade Numis.